In this short demo, we'll take a look at the built-in bridge network that you get on all Linux-based Docker hosts. Now, this network's roughly equivalent to the default NAT network that you get with Docker on Windows. Well, I'm logged in here to a freshly installed Docker host, and on my Linux-based install here, these are the three networks that I get by default. And this one here, called Bridge, using the Bridge driver, this is the one we're interested in right now. Now, if we want to get more info on it, we can fire off an inspect command here. And we give it the name of the network. And we get pretty much the same info as before, just with a bunch more as well. So, for one thing, we can see the subnet and the gateway here. And we can see where it says containers. We don't have any. So, right now, this network doesn't have any containers attached to it. Okay, but what's underpinning all of this? How does it all work? Well, if we throw this up here, we can see that on our Docker host, we've got a virtual switch or bridge called Docker Zero. This is what really makes up that network called Bridge. Well, with that, all we have to do is plumb containers into it. And like any layer two type switch, any containers that get plugged into it are gonna be able to talk to each other. Now, because this network's created by the bridge driver, it's confined to this here Docker host that we're logged onto. That's because the bridge driver is all about single host networking. So it creates isolated networks and switches that only exist within a single Docker host. Now, to actually see this Docker Zero bridge, we need to install the Linux Bridge Utilities package. Okay, now if we go brctl show, all right, there's our Docker Zero virtual switch. Okay, in the native tooling parlance, it's called a bridge, but a bridge and a switch are the same, right? And over here, we can see it's got no interfaces attached to it. That's because we've got no containers. So, let's add one. And just a simple docker run command saying start as a new container, base it off of the alpine image, and drop us into a shell. Notice though, right, we're not specifying which network to join. So, by default, if we don't tell a container which network to join, it's going to join that bridge network. Okay, well, we're in our container, and this here dot to address, this, this is our container's IP. Okay, well, we don't need to do anything else, so let's just drop out of it here, but keep it running. And let's see if it did what we said it would do. We'll see if it joined that bridge network. So, where's that inspect command? There we go. And right, we've got a container attached to it, and there's its address, dot two. And if we look at that Docker Zero virtual switch again, all right, see how it's got an interface attached to it now. That interface is plumbed into our container. So let's back up and recap. We're on a clean Docker install on Linux. All the networks we saw came as part of that default install. So this bridge network was created for us and it contains a single virtual switch called Docker Zero. Then I think we said this is the default network and switch, meaning if we create new containers and don't specify a network for them to join, they're gonna get connected to that Docker Zero switch and be part of this bridge network. And because the bridge network is created with the bridge driver, it's a single host network, so only for containers on this here Docker host. Great. Well, to find out more, come and visit us at www.docker.com.